Alright, right, cool. Yo, what's going on, people? It's Jamal Edwards, SBTV, and we are in Monaco at the World Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. This video is going to be all about inspiring a new generation. I hope you learned something from it. Big up, self belief, and keep a lot for the next ones that are coming up soon. Boom. I think for someone older who's trying to engage with people who are younger, you know, the, the trick, the, the important thing is to be open to the fact that they know more than you do about a whole ton of things. And you don't necessarily know better. And you don't necessarily know the answer. And so to be open to exploration and solving problems together, that's the best way of making progress. We need all of our employees to understand and be part of the communities that in the end we serve. The person who is in the store, who is online, who is in, in a queue somewhere to buy something that they need. We need to understand all of those people. What legacy do you think we could leave as entrepreneurs for like the next generation? Well, it's a great question. I would say if, uh, if we could create a culture of inclusivity and caring and recognizing that uh, it's not win-lose, it's got to be win-win. Um, and the world, is, as tried as it may sound, is a friendlier place. I think no matter what we're doing, we'll all be happier. And, and I think we'd learn from each other, work better together, build that high-performing team. Yeah. Uh, I think we'd all be better off. So it's, it's not cutthroat like you read about the Wall Street from the 1980s. Mm. Those, those people who are going to be responsible, our legacy should be proven that it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. Wicked, on that note, love that. Nice one, man. Thank you. The biggest reason people don't become entrepreneurs is self-doubt or comfort. Now, if you have nothing to lose, you become an entrepreneur but you don't have the skills. The interesting thing that shocks me is how many people are so competent and they remain working for corporations and they don't take that leap or that jump. Why? Because they doubt it. They, they doubt themselves. Am I going to fail? I'm comfortable where I am. I am getting paid a lot of money. But then they are missing three things. One, they are missing the fact that you, as an entrepreneur, you create more jobs than working for anybody else. Number two, you are action driven. You take risks as an entrepreneur that you don't take in corporations. Number three, you control your own destiny and you create your legacy.